Oh yes, today in Steve's Kitchen, we're making that all-time American fairground classic, the corn dog. Takes a little bit of effort to get the batter just right. No effort at all to eat. Come on, let's get a make corn dogs. To make our batter, we want half a cup or 60 grams of all-purpose flour, and I'm using masa harina, which is a type of corn flour. Just put those into a bowl. A tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Crack an egg, drop it in with our dry ingredients. Pour in two thirds of a cup of milk. And we start to whisk this up into a nice thick batter. Now the batter consistency is really important. We want something super thick that actually sticks to our whisk but just sort of drips off. So you can adjust it to be perfect for you. Now a lot of people put the batter into a tall glass and dip the corn dogs in. I don't really think it needs it. I have a way that works really well for me. Now take your corn dog and these square skewers are really good. They stop the corn dog from spinning around. All we need to do is just push this up through the center of the corn dog and try to make sure that you keep it central all the way. Now as it just starts to poke out the end there, we're gonna stop. The way I like to coat them is just to lay the corn dog in the batter and get a spoon and then we just run the batter down the length of the corn dog. You wanna go right up round the neck of the corn dog and then just drag the batter down like that. So I'll do that a couple of times just to get a nice even coating. Now lift the corn dog up, give it a little shake to distribute the batter down the corn dog. And then I'm just gonna drop the corn dog or I'm gonna lower it gently into the batter. I'm not gonna drop it all in one go. I just want the outside of the batter to sear and then I'm just gonna release it. And straight away your batter is gonna puff up. Now nine times out of 10 when you're doing corn dogs, they turn themselves. Now we're gonna cook this corn dog for about three minutes till it's a lovely golden brown. Now I'm just using the basket to lift the corn dog out of the fat. And then I'm just gonna lift the corn dog off, place it onto some kitchen towel and just let it drain a little bit. And there she is. I think this is the symbol of fairground food, the American corn dog. It's looking absolutely gorgeous, still super hot, but I'm gonna tuck in and give this a try does look good, doesn't it? Now this isn't health food, don't be eating this all the time, but just occasionally for a bit of fun. Oh, well, hot. My, I absolutely love a corn dog. They are so, so good. I hope you're enjoying the series of fairground food that we're doing and get those comments in the suggestions down there. There's still some time. We might make some other bits and pieces. This is certainly gonna be a lot of fun. If you haven't had corn dogs before, give them a try. They are knockout fantastic. Be good and we'll see you for some more fairground food very shortly on Steve's Kitchen. Take care.